Now let us discuss about the gastrointestinal hormones. Now the total process of digestion is under the control of nervous system and hormones. Like any other physiological activity, the process of digestion also is controlled by nervous system. And it is sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves which control the total physiological activity of digestion. And now, the secretions. Much of the secretions are controlled by hormones. Now, certain activities of digestive system are controlled by hormones. The hormones include gastrin. Now I told you the pyloric stomach, that's the pyloric stomach. The wall of the pyloric stomach the contains G cells. The G cells produce gastric. So whenever food is coming into the stomach, immediately after the food is coming, first the G cells present in the pyloric stomach will produce gastrin. The gastrin is released into blood, it comes and activates the gastric glands. Then gastric glands will produce its secretions. Pepsinogen, hydrochloric acid, these secretions from gastric glands are stimulated by gastrin hormone. Enterogastron. It is also called gastric inhibitory peptide. Enterogastron. This is produced from duodenum. So that's duodenum. From the wall of duodenum, enterogastron is produced. It is also called gastric inhibitory peptide. Now, whenever there are lipids in the food that is entering into duodenum, so that will stimulate the production of enterogastron. Now, enterogastron reduces gastric acidity. The wall of gastric glands produce HCL. Now, enterogastron will reduce that acidity. Gastrointestinal motility is reduced. Motility means movement. Movement of food through stomach, intestine. So this, this is inhibited with the help of enterogastron. Enterogastron is secreted from the wall of duodenum. So based on the lipids present in the food material. Secretin. Secretin is a hormone. It is acting directly on pancreas. I told you, centro SNR cells present inside the SNA of pancreas or so this secretin acts on that particular cell. Secretin is also coming from the wall of duodenum. Secretin is produced from the wall of duodenum. It acts on centro SNR cells of pancreas, this pancreas. Now under the influence of secretin, the pancreas produces mucus and bicarbonates. Two substances are produced. And cholecystokinin. It is also called pancreozymin. It is also called cholecystokinin pancreozymin complex. All same. Cholecystokinin, pancreozymin or cholecystokinin, pancreozymin. Cholecystokinin or pancreozymin or cholecystokinin, pancreozymin complex. Now this, this is also produced from the wall of duodenum. Now this comes and acts on the gallbladder. Gallbladder is here. So it acts on gallbladder. Gallbladder. Th 
liver. Liver produces bile juice. The bile juice is temporarily stored inside the gall blood. So it's there inside the gall blood. Now under the influence of cholecystokinin, gall bladder releases bile juice. Under the influence of same cholecystokinin, the pancreatic acne produces pancreatic enzymes. Right? So both secretin and cholecystokinin, they are acting on pancreas. Cholecystokinin is also acting on gallbladder to release the bile juice. Enterocrinin. Enterocrinin, it, it is the hormone which stimulates jejunum and ileum. See, this is jejunum. This is ileum. Now, in this wall of small intestine, small intestine, this small intestine contains the intestinal glands, crypts of labor cool. See, wall of duodenum contains brunner's glands, wall of jejunum and ileum contains crypts of labor cool. Both these glands together called as intestinal glands. Intestinal glands produce intestinal juice. Intestinal juice also is called as succus centricus. Now, production of succus centricus is controlled by a hormone called as enterocrinin. So, that means this is the hormone produced from the wall of small intestine. They will stimulate the Brunner's glands and Krebs of Leberkuhn to produce their secretions. Brunner's glands produce mucus, but all the enzymes are produced by Krebs of Leberkuhn. Villikainin. Now, by the time the food has come into the small intestine, digestion is completed. So, digestion is completed in small intestine. Now, the digested food is absorbed through villus. The movement of villi inside the small intestine, villi, finger-like projections inside the small intestine are called as villus. So, villus move towards the digested food. That occurs under the influence of villikinin. So, these are the gastrointestinal hormones. Gastrin is the hormone which is produced from G cells of pyloric stomach. Remaining all, all hormones are produced from the wall of small intestine. Gastrin stimulates gastric glands to produce gastric juice. Enterogastron or gastric inhibitory peptide. So, it is stimulated whenever there are dietary lipids coming into stomach. Now, enterogastron will reduce the production of hydrochloric acid in the stomach and it will reduce gastric as well as intestinal motility. Secretin acts on pancreas, production of mucus, production of bicarbonates. Cholecystokinin again acts on pancreatic, pancreatic acini to produce pancreatic enzymes. It also acts on gallbladder to release the bile juice. Enterocrinin acts on Endostinal glands to produce secretions, both Brunner's as well as Krebs of Leberkuhn. So that means enterocrinin is stimulating endostinal glands to produce succus centricus. Villikinin, after absorption, after digestion is over inside small intestine, absorption has to occur. And for the absorption to occur, there should be movement of villi towards the digested food. So that movement of villus towards the digested food is called as villikinin. Villi so these are the hormones which control the total digestive mechanism.